Hi, welcome to Trailers from Hell. I'm John Sales, and I'm here to talk about A High Wind in Jamaica, which is a 1965 pirate movie in color, directed by Alexander McKendrick, who's much better known for making Alec Guinness comedies. This is Alexander McKendrick's real chance to do a big color, roistering, rousing pirate movie. He had done things like The Lady Killers and The Sweet Smell of Success later on. And this one is its a strange pirate movie in that it's kind of like Peter Pan crossed with the Lord of the Flies. There's this very dark undertone of these almost childlike pirates who have taken these kids who are kind of cold-blooded in a way. They're not little chicken kids who are afraid of everything. They actually really kind of like the bloodthirsty part of being pirates. It's Anthony Quinn right after he did Zorba the Greek. Iola Kadrova is in it as well, who is in that. So they're, they're cashing in on the, the earthy Anthony Quinn thing. Uh, the captain's henchman. We better do something about keeping the kids away from the men. And last night we were lucky. James Coburn's with them, who always had the, a great wicked smile. So these are kind of pirates who are having a good time. Gert Frobe, after he did, uh, he played Goldfinger, is in it. So it has some of the scope, but there's actually not that much action in it. It really is about these kind of third-rate pirates. They're not the big famous Captain Blood type guys. And they happen to pick up these kids accidentally, basically because they're a little too soft-hearted. The kids are their undoing. Really kind of interesting, strange, psychological pirate movie with a little swashbuckling, but uh, really not that much. And this was based on a book that kind of was uh, one of those books that people read and said, ooh, that was strange. Kendrick just, you know, was jumping for a chance to do a different kind of a movie out of Ealing Studio, and, and this is what he chose. It got good reviews, but was not especially successful. And I think it's because people kind of found it in between genres. And there is this strange kind of, are, are we going to have sex with these young girls thing in it? That is the you know, the driving force of the movie, but they couldn't really talk about it. Power of a high wind in Jamaica.